so it is worth the wait but it's a bit annoying if you do want to hi guys hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are talking about sunscreen and today we are talking about the image skincare prevention plus daily ultimate protection moisturizer spf 50 and breathe wow <laughs> this sunscreen comes recommended from one of my lovely viewers thank you so much for recommending this sunscreen to me so before i keep you guys here any longer let's jump right into the video so this originally retails for 59 pounds on image skincare.co.uk however i only paid 39.95 when i bought this from allbeauty.com so this is 91 grams or 3.2 ounces there is a lot of sunscreen in here this is probably the biggest sunscreen tube i've used in a very long time which at first I was a bit nervous about because obviously when you're trying a new skincare or sunscreen product especially for me for the first time if you don't know how it's going to wear on the skin it's always a bit of a gamble getting such a big tube like this because if you don't like it then you end up having to figure out what to do with the whole tube but then on the plus side if you do end up liking it then it tells me that you have a lot of product to use so in terms of a very quick brief description image skincare says this sheer daily moisturizer offers spf 50 broad spectrum protection against the sun's harmful uva and uvb rays plus digital aging defense touch with a hint of citrus essential oils for a naturally uplifting scent they say this is a moisturizer but on the box they say that you can use this two ways you can either use this as a sunscreen or as a moisturizer which i'll get into in just a moment and then in terms of key ingredients this has hydrolyzed pea protein zinc oxide homosalate octocrylene octisalate and an antioxidant blend plus like I just read out this also has citrus essential oils which I love the smell of this sunscreen it is amazing but I won't jump ahead too much and then last but not least they say in terms of how to use you should apply this at least 15 minutes before sun exposure and reapply every two hours to prevent hydrate and protect your skin so that is basically this sunscreen in a nutshell and yeah let's get straight into trying so to keep me on track I've got notes down here I always go off on tangents I just want this to be short and sweet because I am on my way out the door literally so first of all in terms of the three main things that I I really like about this sunscreen I love that this sunscreen rubs on clear as you can see when you first apply it especially on dark skin like mine it is blue purple there are no two ways about it and when I first put it on I was a bit skeptical about whether or not it would rub in well and whether or not it would leave me with a weird tinge a weird filter but it did not do that at all it rubs on clear as you can see I am brown I am glowy I just look absolutely gorgeous absolutely scrumptious the second thing I love about the sunscreen is it leaves you with a lovely glow as you can see I am literally glowing I look sun-kissed ready to start the day I literally look like the sun I am a ball of light and I just love how like the light is just reflective of my skin. I look so healthy. I look dewy you guys know i love my sunscreens to leave me with a bit of glow i have naturally dry skin so i think if you're also like me and you have dry skin and this is the kind of look that you are going for with your sunscreen then i cannot say nicer things about this sunscreen because i just love how awake and like glossy i look if you have oily skin i can't say that you're going to want to look like this that said they do have a matte version of the sunscreen which i haven't tried so i can't vouch for it but i have heard good things about it and then last but not least the third thing and there are many more things i love about this but the third thing that i absolutely adore about the sunscreen is the smell i am a sucker for anything citrusy lemony and this smells amazing this actually reminds me of the super goop play everyday sunscreen because that also had a very nice citrusy lemony scent to it so if you are like me and you love your lemons then you will love the smell of this this smells amazing like I literally love putting on the sunscreen in the morning you want to smell nice things in the morning and this is just an amazing thing to smell first thing in the morning that said if you have skin sensitivities to fragrances like fragrances don't really vibe with your skin that much this may be a miss because this smells this smells of lemons this smells very lemony which i love i love me some lemons so if you are not a big fan of lemons or fragrance then this may not be for you now on to the three main things that i dislike about this sunscreen first of all this sunscreen feels super thick when you are applying it on your face which is very weird because when you are first 
putting it on your hands you can see how malleable the sunscreen is and you think it's going to be more of a liquid sunscreen but as you're rubbing it into your face it just gets very thick and quite sludgy and it's a bit of a it's a bit of a task to rub into your face because it is very thick on the face i like my sunscreens to be a bit more on the not watery but i just don't want a super thick sunscreen when i'm rubbing it on my face especially when if i'm putting it on my hands it's not coming out super thick if that makes sense the next thing that i dislike about the sunscreen is the amount of time it takes to rub in as you guys can see it takes so long to rub in and if you have watched any of my previous sunscreen videos you know one of the main things i always talk about is my love of getting up and going out like i don't want to be spending time rubbing in my sunscreen i want to put on my sunscreen leave the door go to sainsbury's go on a walk hang out with friends i don't want to be like rubbing it in for a good 10 minutes and one thing that i have found with this sunscreen is that it takes so long to rub in i think maybe if you're a bit lighter than me you don't have to work as hard to rub it in because the contrasting like blue white color of the actual sunscreen won't show up so much in your skin but if you are my skin tone a bit lighter or darker you do have to work a bit harder to rub it in just so that you don't go out looking patchworky or blue or purple or anything like that which is a bit of a pet peeve for me because i love this sunscreen so much but it just takes a long to rub in like why does it take so long to rub in i don't know but at least like i said before when it does rub in you are left with this glow you're left with this like beautiful canvas so it is worth the wait but it's a bit annoying if you do want to head out the door really quickly and then the third and final thing that i dislike about the sunscreen is how sticky it leaves my hands after i've applied this sunscreen my hands feel so sticky and it's gotten to the point where i now have to wash my hands after i've applied sunscreen because i like to cream my hands with products that i put on my face just so that my hands can reap the same benefits as my face it does always feel like such a waste of toner my essence my serums my moisturizer and the sunscreen if i'm having to go and wash my hands after applying sunscreen but this leaves my hands feeling so sticky that i literally have to wash my hands now in terms of final thoughts like i previously said they say that you can use this as a sunscreen or a moisturizer i have used this sunscreen in both ways and to be honest it really does just come down to personal preference because i feel like it works the same way whether you're using it as a sunscreen or a moisturizer and i mean that in the sense that you would still apply two to three fingers of sunscreen they do say that if your moisturizer has spf in it in order for it to be effective you need to be using a considerable amount so whether i'm using this as a moisturizer or a sunscreen i will always do two to three fingers of this sunscreen and you just put it on your face and it takes the same amount of time to rub in it leaves you with the same amount of glow and then the last thing that i'm going to talk about is wearing this with makeup you guys know i wear makeup to work and i wear sunscreen underneath my makeup your makeup will wear really nicely on top of this sunscreen that said i have noticed that the times when i've worn makeup to work on top of this sunscreen my face feels incredibly dry about halfway through the day like two o'clock in the afternoon my face will literally feel like all of the water has just been completely removed from my face that said when i use this as a sunscreen my face doesn't get dry it never feels dry so i'm just gonna say that it just doesn't it's not really compatible with my foundation or with my makeup which is a shame but you know it is what it is so finally will i buy again to be fair i don't know if i will actually rebuy again probably in the future because i do really like this the only thing for me is the negative points are quite significant points that i don't know if i would want to rebuy this so so that is all from me in today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you have any sunscreen recommendations please do leave them for me down below i love when you guys share recommendations with me because i love discovering new products and if it wasn't for this sunscreen recommendation i would never have even known that image skincare was a thing so trust me guys if you have any sunscreen recommendations that you think that i will like let me know if you have used this sunscreen please do let me know and let everybody else know what your thoughts are on it even if you didn't like it for whatever reason please do let us all know down below and if you love this please again let us all know down below and yeah guys in the meantime i will see you in my next video bye guys Mwah.